All right, my friends, so we're out here in like the clouds and everything. We're on a little vacation. I had been waiting all day to try and show you guys the view, but it was like outcast. What's it called? Outcast? Overcast. The clouds and everything. And then it got dark, but I figured might as well at least like show you guys. You see some trees, you see some water there. Uh, but anyways, this is welcome to a new video here. My name is Bijan in case you're new. And in this video, we're going to be going over a quick trade recap I did in which I made about a $4,000 profit using less than 6000 in about 20, 30 minutes. So let's jump right into it here. Alrighty guys, so the first thing we're going to do just to kind of make things easy on everyone here is we're going to first go over the orders here and then from there we're going to go over the charts. Now before I really get into it, I just because I'm probably going to forget, I want to just point out that this trade was directly like 100% the whole entire plan was from the watch list, which is basically a list that I update each night that says, hey, this is the stock that we're going to be watching for the next day and this was it. I updated this last night. And this is the exact trade that I came in and I took directly on the watch list. So for people that ask like, oh, how do I follow your trades, this and that, they're all on the watch list. If you are interested, I'll put the link in the description below. But if not, it's totally fine. I just wanted to mention it just in case. And now let's jump back into the orders here. And what we're gonna do is we'll do it piece by piece. So first to kind of like break it down and sum it up for you guys, the trade itself was in uh, what about 20 minutes, a little more than 20 minutes. We'll just say less than 30 minutes. And the cost of the trade was, if I'm not mistaken, it was around 5,640. We can do the math as we go through it. And, um, and that's that. Let me make sure I get my calculator just in case. Okay, so let's start off with the first order. I got into the trade right when the market opened, about a minute in. Now, I know some people panic about trading in the morning and this and that, and they don't think it's a good idea. But I want to clarify for you guys that... I'm going based off of specific strategies. It's not that I'm coming in blindly saying, all right, good morning. Let's see what we can just throw a blind dart at. That's not what we're doing. Remember, I mentioned that this is a trade that was on the watch list, which is a trade that I had found the night before. So there's a strategy that we're following and it doesn't really matter what time you enter. It, it just really matters that you enter based on your plan. So if you recall on the watch list idea here, it basically said I'm going to be keeping a close eye on the 215 area to see if we can get a push to it to basically get short or get puts. Basically said I want it to go down from that 215 area. And then the profit targets were 212 and 210 with a risk on 216.57. So now let me get rid of this guy here. And we'll jump into it on the orders here. So this is basically where I got into it right in the morning because of the fact that it gave me that push right to the exact area that I wanted, the 215 area. So that's where I got into my first order, which was 10 contracts at 253 each. Now for anyone that's new, that is new here, with options trading, one is equivalent to 100. So if you see that it says $2.53, it's actually $253. So I had 10 of them. So that means 10 times 253, that's 2,530 is the initial amount that I put into the trade. Then about a minute later, as the trade started going in my favor, I added in an additional five contracts. And then three, four minutes after that, it gave a little bit of a pop back up, which I used that opportunity to add in an addi another additional five contracts here, putting me to a total of 20 contracts, which put me at a full size position. And just to kind of go over on the charts real briefly for you guys here. So as you can see, is as we got that push to the 215, that's where I got in my first batch. Then as we started going down, I added in and then we got a little bit of a pop right to this 214.50 area and that's where I added in the final five, putting me to 20 contracts. Then as the value of the stock went down because we were trading puts, the value of our options increased and that's how you're able to make money with stocks going down. Just want to put that idea out there in case anybody knew or anyone here is like super, super new that didn't know you could make money with stocks going down. That's basically like what we're doing here. So moving forward now, back to the orders just to show you guys like a full price breakdown. So this first batch was 2,530. Then I believe 306 times five would be 1,530. And then the additional five would be 1,400. So in total, it's 5,460. Another way you can look at it is by saying like, okay, these ones were at like an average price of 293 each. So 2,930 plus 2,530, that's where you get the cost of the trade. Then about 20 minutes later, I sold all 20 of them 
for 480 each. So if you do the math, 20 times 480, that's 9,600. So we sold it for 9,600. You subtract the cost of the trade, which was 5,460. And that's basically where you get the $4,000 profit that we have. And again, I always like to give my little used car example that basically says, hey, if you bought a used car for 5,000 thinking you can sell it for 10, you know, that doesn't mean we're risking 5,000. That's just how much money you needed to have to be able to buy the car. If you buy the car and something goes wrong with it or it needs a new motor, you're not just gonna leave the car on the side of the road. You're gonna go sell it for a little bit of loss. Maybe you fix it. And that's the same theory that I want to apply to trading is that if you notice from the watches, we have a plan. So I put the money in, but it's not like I'm going to let it go to zero. We'll exit for a small loss. So moving forward now to finish it up here on the charts for you guys, basically what had happened is I got into the, oh, I had to click here. I got into it around the 215. I added in as it started to drop. It gave a little bit of a pop back up and I added in again to a full size position. As the value of the stock decreased, the value of our puts went up and we sold it all of them right here for a profit of 4,100. Now, the plan basically said that we could hold some to see if we can even break the 210 area. And the reason that I didn't hold any of them is because of the fact that it literally got to my main profit targets, I mean, within like 20, 30 minutes. You know, what was I gonna get, greedy? No. Am I mad at the fact that I could have made more money? Absolutely not. This happens plenty of times. And the key is to remember that you trade based off of strategies. We're not just coming in blindly gambling here saying, well, let me just trade this stock because I like it today. We trade based off of strategies. We have plans and there's a reason we have the plans we have. So you have to remember to stick to your plans. Don't let these kinds of trades where you see that, oh, I could have made another probably $5,000 at least probably another four to $5,000 would have been if I sold it here, but you can't focus on that. You just have to stick to your plan, stick to your strategy, come in and get out. Rinse and repeat, consistency. Because once you start messing with your strategy and saying, oh, well, on the other trade, I was able to make more if I would have held it. So this one, I'm gonna hold it. When you start doing that and you start going against your personal strategies and your rules, that's when you start losing and then it just becomes a snowball effect. So I just wanted to kind of put that idea out there. It's okay if you could have made more. Just stick to your plan. Remember that consistency is key and that's pretty much it. So that pretty much wraps it up, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just a quick trade recap. Uh, for those of you that are interested, I'm currently offering a new year sale on the master course that I offer, which will literally teach you everything you need to know if you wanna learn how to do this stuff yourself or I'm also offering a sale and special pricing on the watch list that I offer, which basically says, hey, you don't want to do the research yourself. You don't want to find the trades. I can do it for you. I update the watch list and then you can trade based on those plans and ideas that I put out there. Obviously, I always suggest to focus on the ideas that align best with your strategies, but that's pretty much it, guys. I start rambling at this point, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs up as well and then let me know in the comments what it is that you didn't enjoy or what I could do better. And that's it. We'll wrap it up here. I hope you guys just have a great rest of your night or day, wherever you are. Just have a great rest of your life and I'll talk to you guys soon.